Hello, as usual, my name is Olua Kemi Osege, and I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. And I thank you for watching part one and part two of this um, creation of, of the recording of the creation of this two teeth cake. Yes, you would be pleased that this is the final part of this process. As you can see at this point now, three processes have already taken place from the last part. I've now pro I proceeded to trimming my cakes and of course ganaching it and then I've covered it at this point with um, fondant. So what I'm doing here is preparing the bottom tier for stacking. I've simply used my ruler to mark out the center of my cake so that I can insert the center dowel and also using the cake card that is the side of the cake that is going to be sitting on it um, to mark out a circle to ensure that my cake is going to be sitting comfortably at the center of the bottom tier so following that i inserted my center door and of course my other mini doors to create support around the cake the mini doors were inserted around the center door within the circle i initially marked out and then applied royal icing again to serve, for, serve as additional adhesive and support for to set up as adhesive and additional support for the tier so I've then proceeded to lifting up my cake, my 7 inches tier cake and ins inserted it into the center of the wall and placed it on the bottom tier. So here I am now just ensuring that um, everything is dead center, smoothing out as best as I can, you know, and ensuring that it is looking beautiful as I want it. So that's the cake fully stacked. That's how I stack my cake. I've now then proceeded to steam in my cake to get rid of any excess icing sugar. I use icing sugar during the course of covering my cake with fondant, that is during the course of me working with fondant to prevent stickiness, to prevent any uh, stickiness to the, my surface and also to my hand to ensure uh, that the fondant uh, uh, working process is as smooth as it can be. So then I proceeded to the to decorating or fully decorating the cake. I had this design in my head of wraps around the top tier. I was just going along as best as I can with my um, imagination at this point. Yes, so what simply rolled out when the leftover marble of um, my uh, fondant and wrapped, created a, a wrap and wrapped it around the top tier of my cake not entirely around the cake just strategically around some side of it and then proceeded to work in on the edges to create some sort of a jagged edge again i still steam the game because i haven't steamed that part and then proceeded to uh, place in another wrap on top of this first wrap but not entirely covering it as well and working on it as best as i can you know creating again a jagged edge around the edges if for want of a better word yes a jagged edge around the edges using my hand to thin it out and lift it off the surface to create some sort of jaggedness i've then then proceeded to using my tool to smooth out the base of my top tier cake there is not going to be any sort of border around that around the base of that top tier cake so it is highly important or it is pertinent that um, the um, base of my top tier cake is as smooth and neat as you can get again of course proceed with the steaming of the cake again to ensure a smoother finish that steam that water around the cake is going to be it will evaporate i mean will evaporate after a few minutes it's not going to stay shiny like that but it, what it does is that it gets rid of, gets rid of the excess uh, as in sugar and then leaves the cake um, looking beautiful and lush after it dries out the steamer also helps because it generates water around the surface of the cake it helps with you apply your other decorations around the cake with for instance this wrap to ensure that it sits well as a form of adhesive so i've now proceeded to using um gold paste a combination of alcohol and the gold dust to form a paste to paint the edges of my jagged wraps or oh, and then of course around the marble borders finished up the decoration of the cake uh, inserted thin 40th um, 
bed uh, topper because we're fought by the celebrant and of course applied the decorated with the bubbles the white gold and uh, blue bubbles so here's the finished product i hope you like it i hope you enjoyed the video i thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like share and then comment i'd love to read for your thoughts thank you for watching see you next time